Hello, YouTube. It's your girl, Nalina. Uh, before I start this video, I just wanted to give a shout out to my cousin, Leslie Lofton. She has a YouTube page. Um, it's Leslie Lofton, Love Living Life. And she um, always give a scripture and says prayers for her viewers. If you're interested, just go ahead and look her up. You might like what you see. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to my cousin um, for just um, being a believer and being faithful and reading God's word to help other people. Um, today, I'm going to do something similar, but... Um, I want to tell you the reason why I'm doing it. Um, I've been having a little issue within my personal life. And uh, most of the time, um, it's when I'm out and about or I'm trying to take care of business or I'm around a, um, certain individuals. Um, is a spirit that tries to control um, whatever it is that I'm doing. And uh, sometimes people can carry a spirit and they don't know that they're carrying a type of spirit. And they don't know that what they're doing is affecting another individual. Um, and some people are just possessed. And let's be real, uh, in this world today, with all the changes in the world and all the uh, different things that happen, the events that happen. Sometimes people just get caught up in it and they don't know that they're not really um, under their own power. They're under some other power or control or what have you. So um, God just told me to stay encouraged because um, he wants to save me from anything that's not like him that is trying to control my life, my thoughts, how I feel about myself and all of those things. Sometimes when God is trying to direct you, there's always some person or thing that is going to try to come up against you. Um, but you just have to pay more close attention to what the Lord is saying and a good way to do that is just to open up your word, read your Bible, meditate on what he's, you know, he has to say, his promises and things of that nature. So um, I've been doing a lot of just seeking God's word, hearing his word, reading his word, and um, it's helped a lot. So um, it was one incident. I was at work and I don't want, want to keep talking because I feel like sometimes I talk a little bit too much and then I don't get to the point. But one day I was at a certain place and someone spoke to me and they said something to me and it was just so out of the blue. And I had to condemn whatever it was that they said to me. But I didn't know at the time that that's really what I was doing um, as far as like with the word of God. Sometimes we just do things out of, you know, us trying to protect ourselves. But when I went to bed that night and woke up the next morning, I literally could hear this um, scripture in my head and it, and I could hear God speaking it to me. I I mean, I don't know if it was God or an angel. I don't know. But this verse came to my mind. And it's in Isaiah 54, verse 17. And the scripture is, no, the scripture says, I'm sorry, no weapon forged against you will prevail. And you will refute, you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. And um, I found out that that was for the house of David, um, one of the promises that God had given 
And so, um, with that saying, with that being said, uh, I just want people to stay encouraged. There's many voices out there, and a lot of those voices won't be your own voice. Sometimes we can be our own enemy, and we can say things to ourselves that kind of stop us from believing in what God says. And then there's other voices from other people, and that is just in our atmosphere. And you just have to say to those voices that, you know, whatever you're saying it's not true. That's not what the Lord says. If it's if it's something that is trying to accuse you, trying to condemn you, anything like that, get right into condemning that thing. Like, no, that's not what God is saying. That's not what God is saying. Uh, anybody that is trying to harm you, anybody that's trying to verbally abuse you or anything like that, you know, pray diligently, seek God's word. And I know I've said that again and again, but I really mean it because I feel that it's a lot of people that's just like me that is trying to live your life and you, you're not out there trying to hurt other people. You know, we're not perfect. We'll never be perfect. God didn't call us to be perfect. He called us to be his, to be his children, to be saved, to know him, to love him, and to know his promises and know his word and to, you know, love one another and, and be uh, courageous and encouraging towards one another and all that. It, we're never going to be perfect so the best thing to do is just, you know, when you make a mistake, repent and move forward. Don't let anybody get in the way of you moving forward. Someone is going to say something out the blue to you. And even if it's true, even if it's the past, even if it's something that happened and you can kind of like say, oh, dang, you know, that did happen. That's the past. The enemy will always use the past because he doesn't know your future. God knows your future. And even if we make mistakes, God redeems us, okay? So I hope that really helps somebody today. Thank you for listening. God bless. Good night.